This trip, we are going to Klondike, Arizona. Klondike was founded in the 1900s by some miners who had recently returned from Alaska after participating in the Klondike Gold Rush. This town is located west of Safford, Arizona. That's not good. I lost a pin somewhere. what it's a rough road and probably shouldn't have taken the RV here but we're here now so we're going to leave the RV for the night and then we're going to head up in the mountains I know where I need to park I guess finally made it up to this campsite got the RV hooked up and we're going to head out and see what what's around here We are going to head north on Klondike Road until we reach Aravipa Canyon and end up at Turkey Creek Cliff Dwellings. Okay, so there's this. So let's uh, let's go take a look. Nice steps right there, leading up to the front door. <coughs> Still has its glass in it. Oh, it's full of birds. mattresses here on the floor and a bunch of rodent activity bathroom with the water heater here's the medicine cabinet there's an intact toilet Closet. Peak. Yep. Right. There's one of those birds' nests. I can hear the baby in it. Probably leave that alone. 
Nice cabinet, little room. Uh, there's a bird stuck in the window. It's okay. It's just a baby. Let's see. Go this way. And that's it. There's another nest. Okay, I'm gonna find my way out of here. It's okay, little guy. I'm leaving. Here at this old church. See if I can't peek in in a minute. All right, I'm gonna go back around to the front. Actually, go this way first. A little stable. to the stable. Go back around to the front door and see if it's open. This is, so, this is so cool. We're pretty far out in the middle of nowhere. There's still an active church out here. Why wouldn't there be? This is an awesome place. No, you can't read this. 1300 AD. That's all I can see. What year? 13. Mm -hmm. I'll give a date in a minute, but this is pretty cool. Oh, they should have made that hole bigger. Inside the, inside this dwelling. A lot of more recent uh, graffiti, little scratches on the wall and stuff, but it looks like the government or somebody put a piece of metal there along with some supports to help keep everything in place. And there's the way out. Pretty cool. Turkey Creek uh, Cliff Dwellings. Probably established around 1300 AD.
kind of cool. I mean, this is a beautiful canyon. Kinda. That's a full-on fly. That's not that's not Get too close to that. Let's see if we can get a better view from over here. There's a little bit of a little bit of a pile, so just down a little bit. I don't know how how deep. It looks like it's all plugged with uh, wood. the remains of the hoist. Well, if this was the hoist house. It's gone now. The hoist is. And, uh, just a little bit of the wood and metal left. I just found this on the way to where I was actually going. Hopefully things uh, get a little better. I'm here at a little town. It was in the hills, a little ghost town. There's about four or five buildings here. I think there's a mine shaft near. But up in the hills that we still have to... A, I was going to show you, but there's a hill on the way. Up in the hills, there's uh, some mines. I don't know if any of the mine shafts will be open. We'll, we'll, go, we'll go look. This ground is horrible. I don't know how. Make sure the floor can support me. This looks like the newer part, maybe add it on. They were rocking some wallpaper. This is their fireplace or their furnace. <laughs> this was a chair. Wallpaper? Yeah. Um, <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Go to the next house. Wood houses don't stay put in Arizona for very long. Termites are really bad here. So it's rare to find them still standing. 
These must not have been abandoned that long. There's still a lot of material and stuff. Maybe it's just because it has a good roof on it. Look this way first. Bathroom they added on. I think that might be curtains. is actually pretty solid in this. Oh, <laughs> then I go around the corner. The roof is missing here. A little pack rat's nest. Yeah, that's um my fabric. I don't know why my mind was drawing a blank on that. Had a little screened in porch. Part of the screen still there. And this is probably a pretty cool little house. camera Anybody need some shoes? At least uh, one side. You know where they you know where they're at. Look at this cool kitchen sink. Cast iron. A real this is a real farm sink. This part they build out of stone. Uh oh, here's the freezer that was in the backyard. Hopefully, uh, that's actually just a refrigerator laying on its back.
no dead bodies. It's just there. Yep, this is where their septic was. See the pipe coming in over there. Wonder if anybody actually accidentally flushed a ring down the toilet. Here's the old pooper holes. Oh, this must have been the outhouse. Um, yeah, because there's the top of the toilet seat there. This would have been where the hole was. be able to see this house with the sun. Alright, we'll, we'll find another one. I see some markings up on that hill right there. But, um, I'll have to find another building and walk through that. This is the outside, that's where that porch was with the screen. Like a double double ovens. That thing was huge. This one's in pretty bad shape. Okay, well, see, there's the kitchen, and there's there's the bathroom, and there's the. I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna explore this one. All right, we can't get past this. So. Gonna park and hike. All right, after a little short hike, we came up to this uh, miner's cabin, or what's left of it. That'd be the refrigerator. It's left of a bed. Looks like the top to a washer. Top to a jug. It's actually pretty cool. Another old refrigerator. Okay, there's a little mining trail that runs this way. Road cuts off to the left, but there's a little trail right here that I hope leads to something good. Looks like I'm gonna be here for a minute. Oh, I see the pile. I see the waste truck pile right there.
catch my breath and then we'll pick up over there. Looks like the remains of an ore chute. And I'm guessing the winch house is right there. And so this is probably a shaft up there on that waste rock pile. I'll head up there. Okay, we're here at the top. And here's the shaft and it's, it's sketchy. I don't even like it anywhere close to this one. I don't see any stable ground anywhere. Yeah, just uh, after that uh, piece of wood right there, it just drops straight down. Look around a little bit. There's another angle. I'm gonna see if I can put you out as far as I can. And, This is probably the head frame here. There you go. Some neatly piled wood there. Some sloppily piled wood there from a pack rat. Oh, this looks like it was the door. Someone's been chewing on that. the waste truck pile. I almost guarantee you it's going to be a shaft. And Here's another and a better look at that mine shaft. I mean the shoot, the ore shoot. Okay, I made it up here. There's the ore chute. There's some tracks right there. I really want to see what's down there and before I climbed up here I knew it was a shaft but I still didn't grab my string and GoPro and we've got a lot more to explore out here hoping to find a, 
um, and open, open at it. All right, I'm gonna ski down and we'll go to another mine. I am here at another mine. This one still has the head frame standing. So we cut nice little stairs in the side of the hill there for me. And I made sure to bring my, my dive reel and my GoPro this time. So if there's anything up there, maybe we can drop the camera into it this time. Oh, there's some rail right there. I don't know if I pointed that out, but I'm right, gonna uh, get up here and pick back up up there. I am right, up there at the top of the first, uh, got stuck in a bush. I'm up here at the first uh, waste drop pile. There's that, the rail. I don't know if you can see it. It's along here. barrel with a pipe running into it. Yeah, it's in pretty bad shape. I definitely came up the wrong way. That was a bitch, but we're up here now. Since there's some rope running that way, there's probably a winch house up there. The Forest Service, whoever's been out here recently, That ladder looks good, right? I mean, the collar kind of is still there. The ladder does get better, but... Oops, some bats. I see a, a working level down there. And then it continues down. I don't have my flashlight. You know, I'll drop the GoPro down there. I think I see rail on that first level, but I'm not sure. This could just be the man way. I think the shaft was right there.
There's those buildings we were looking at earlier. Here's the head frame. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but off over right about there, there's another head frame. I gotta figure, figure out how to get down from here, then I'll hike over there. I'm gonna get snake bit, I might as well do it on camera, right? I hate walking through tall grass. I did the research for this place. It was a while ago. It's not very far from my house, but it takes a you can't get straight you can't do a straight line. So it's hours and hours of driving. Looks like the Forest Service beat me to this one too. the head frame so we'll shoot right here and the shaft is right there Let's see if I can drop a camera down in there this looks like it was an inclined shaft and it's inclining towards me so oh yeah this is not a good place for me to be better view. The GoPro is not going to go down there because of the angle. This one wouldn't be a bad one to try to climb down with some rope. I wish I had a better light. Didn't bring my flashlight it's back at the Jeep. I just realized I forgot to hike up to the top of that other head frame to see if the hoist was still there. This one still has the rope in place too, so maybe there's a maybe there's a winch over here. So that's looking down into that incline shaft right there. I have to come back and try this one. Find a place to climb over. I'll pick it back up. Oh, it is still here. Cool. Bet you the other one's still there too. Look at that sucker. Here's the controls. Does it still work? Kinda. <laughs> wow, that thing's huge. back down. Alright, here's the remains of, I think, a compressor. It 
might be an engine, but no, it's a compressor. But look how the the river beds just suck that in. You can imagine what it does to the gold. That gold probably just drops right down to the bottom. And down here in the wash across from that ore or that head frame. I must have had a bridge coming across the river here. Probably a road up there to haul the ore out. And here at another ore bin. Is that four shoots on that one? That's a big one. I'll hike up around here and see what I can find in a little bit. Up here at the top of that uh, ore bin. There's a compressor up here. And big old diesel generator. See the rail right here. So if the shaft was back here, it's going to be collapsed. Everything around here is collapsed. Soil. There it was. Yeah, they're hauling it out of there and dumping it into here.